Moving on to Jocko, who brings us our next little quick tip. And this really is a quick tip reprise. Jocko found something that any the first time any of us find it, we are super excited about it. And it's one of those things that I think I, for most of us, certainly for me, immediately makes its way into my fingers muscle memory. And that is, he says, you know, when you type a long message and realize you've made a mistake somewhere, it's always been a mission tapping with my thumb at the right place to move the cursor to the correct letter so I can edit. Well, to move the cursor easily, simply tap and hold on the space bar on your iPhone and move the cursor to the correct place. It basically turns your iPhone keyboard into a trackpad so that you can drive around. It, it, yeah, I agree. It's, it's not. Apple should communicate to people that this feature is there because it, it, everybody should know about it because it's just it's so handy. And yet, clearly, not everyone does, which is why we revisit this on the show. You know, I don't know. We probably do it once every six or eight months. I find it posted to like CNET once every two years. And every time people share it, like it's, you know, they've invented fire, right? Like it's exactly it, yeah. it, because it's so powerful. It is, it is very powerful. As soon as I found it, it like you say, it immediately it went in there. And and just to, uh, to dot an eye on that, the way you tell that you're in that trackpad mode is all, all your keys go blank. Yes, so, That's right. You know, when yeah. you're looking at it is because if you if you start moving too soon, you wind up scrolling. Right. <laughs> right. Or, or, right. You know, pulling you're typing letters, letters or yeah, whatever. Yeah. 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 